Hi everybody and good morning. It is 9 a.m. here in uh, southern Montana, a balmy 31 degrees. There's still some ice cubes out on the uh, river I'm going to fish here, so I'm going to take a minute to address a couple things. I enjoyed reading some comments this morning, having some coffee. One in particular made me, uh, made me laugh, ironically. And it was actually a comment that it's okay to smile once in a while. Reminds me of a very quick story I'll tell. I started in sales 23 years ago after I got out of the Navy. And we had some uh, initial training and videos that we brought home. And my wife snuck into the box one time and, and watched one of the videos. And she just shook her head and looked down and said, we're going to be poor. But the moral of the story is, uh, don't worry, I, I will get better. Okay, so we're down at the water. I mentioned I had two new rods to try out today. The one I'm gonna try first here in this first hole or two is a new Gamakatsu Multiflex Sumu EX500. So it's a two position rod, I believe 4.2 and then five meters. But it's a premium big fish rod and it's supposed to be really, really nice. So I'm gonna give that a whirl to begin with. There aren't monster fish in here, but you could catch an 18 to 20 incher pretty, pretty easily. Um, the other rod, which I'm gonna to try to find a spot a little bit later to try out, but it's my new uh, Sawanabori uh, Keru rod, and it's the 72, so it's almost 24 feet. Uh, my previous uh, longest rod was uh, almost 22 and I've used that quite a bit and I really like it but there's a big hole further upstream a couple miles that I may try to walk to when it warms up and hopefully the some of the ice and wind die down here but uh, these are the two rods I'm going to use I'm going to start out with the kamikatsu and we'll see what we can do okay so I'm all rigged up I've got uh, 13 foot number three level line with a two fly rig on. In this river, we've got uh, rainbows and browns and uh, a fair number of white fish. So let's see what we can do. You can see there's still some ice floating, but it's dissipated enough to hopefully be okay now. Just want to get a feel for this new rod at the this shorter length before I go to a longer the longer length and the longer line. My two flies are two of the weighted nymphs that I have in my video of my three favorites. There's a green yarn body on a jig hook with a kind of a black thorax and hackle. And then I've got the uh, tungsten surveyor on the on the point. I really like the feel of it so far. It's uh, actually quite manageable at five the five meter length extended to even use single-handed which is nice since I like to use my waiting staff which by the way I had got asked about so it's just a homemade staff. I've got a kind of on a leash on a big zinger. Uh, it's actually a rake handle and just a scrap piece of wood and then I put the paracord on it but uh, it was I got the design and the idea I guess from Tom Davis of Teton Tenkara and Adam Trahan they've uh, got some information on the website of how to build it that's where I got it from so with a long rod like this I like to put my hand up a little bit on the on the handle and then brace the butt of the rod on my forearm makes it easier, less, less tiring in the long run. Just your typical, uh, there we go. I was gonna say your typical slow winter morning. What do we got, a white fish? Yep. I took the bottom fly, a tungsten surveyor. And that's a good size white fish anyways but to avoid getting my hand wet I'm gonna use my release tool which works great with these barbless hooks also 
Tom uses them as well. It just hooks on your fly, slides down your line, and then goes over the bead head and you just rotate it a little bit and it pops right off. Keeps your hands dry and warm in the winter time, that's for sure. Got that skunk smell off. The first one of the day is always the hardest. Well, I moved up a little bit and I just hooked into a nice rainbow, it looks like. Oh, that's a big fish. Oh, that's a big, is that a white? Oh, oh my goodness. I'm not sure what that was, but it was big. There we go. I had to get a little deeper. It's a whitey. I was going through that rock channel and I lowered my rod to make sure it got deep enough and that's where he hit. That might be my problem. Maybe I haven't been getting deep enough. Little, little guy. Come here. There we go. That's a big whitey. He took the upper fly. Oh, he's just dead weight. Come on. Get up here. Get him over. Come on. Yeah, he's not that big. All right, so I came up to the first hole, made a couple drifts and latched into a fish here. Not sure what it is yet. Feels pretty decent size though. Oh yeah, that's a good size fish, whatever it is again. Probably a white fish. Seems to be the rule. Oh, wait a second, what is that? No, that's a nice, that's a trout. That's a big brown, it looks like. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. It's a nice brown, fat. That's kind of like what that other one looked like. Maybe it was a brown instead of a rainbow earlier. That one that got away. The hand wet. Yeah, that's a nice one. It is a bit deeper, I know, in this stretch, so try to get down a little bit more. There we go. A little whitey, it looks like. Come on. Get him out on the ice here, the ice fishing. There we go. There's one. He was in that slower water there. I don't know what it is yet. It feels like a trout. Wait, it's head head shaking. Oh, came off. Golly. Ah. Makes you mad enough to want to use a barb. There's another. Ooh, yeah, that's Little, little trout. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, Lee. Jumper. We got a jumper. It's like a little brownie. No, it's a rainbow. Oh, we got tingled up. Easy, easy. I'm going to use my net since I brought it. That yeah, little rainbow. 
All right, well, that's two quick ones here. I like that. You never know if it's that the fly was good. There's another one. Or that it's because it's the bottom fly and closer to where they are. That looks like that's another trout. Keeping my my rod again, like I talked about in my other video of fighting big fish, even though this isn't a big one. You know, rod upstream and working it away, or side pressure and working it upstream a little bit. All right, let's see if he wants to come in. That's a nice brown. Holy cow, a lot bigger than I thought. Oh, we shouldn't have let the slack out. That's a nice brown. It might be the fish of the day so far. Well, for, for sure it is. That's why I kept looking at the bend in that rod thinking that little fish is pulling, but it's not all that little. I let them tire from the side pressure and the current. It works its way up ahead of me. And then hopefully, oh, except I can't grab the line with a net in my hand. Oh, you dummy. Oh, and the line's too long. All right, here we go. Oh, that's a nice brown. That's a pretty colors. I like that. Oh, fly came out. Oh, easy, easy. Come on, settle down. Look at that one. This is a fat. Fat fish, pretty too. Oh, there we go. Oh, <laughs> well, three fish right away in this hole. So let's see if we got some more in it. That's the kind of action we were hoping for. Here's another one. This took some time for the temperatures to come up, I think. Oh, it's a nice rainbow. Should just put my waiting staff down. I don't need it for this section. It's more gravelly here, not boulders. He's a fighter. <laughs> Which fly did he take? He took the upper fly that time. Oh yeah, pretty rainbow. Oh, come on. Oh. Really, I've done this before. <laughs> Healthy. Oh, easy, easy, easy. I don't want to squeeze. Fat. Thank you, guy. Wow, that's what I... That makes my day right there. And as a reminder, I'm giving away a dozen of my three favorite nymph patterns. I have a brief video, oh, there's one, a brief video on it. All you need to do is help me get the word out on the new channel by posting a, a link to my channel introduction on, on social media or a blog or something. And send me an email on it and I'll put your name in the hat for the drawing. It's a little brown. See if we can catch a few more out of here. They seem to be active all of a sudden. There we go. A little rainbow. Took that upper fly, the green yarn fly. Whoa. Come back around. Get him upstream of me again. There we go. I'll just release him. Try to get my head down so you can see him. Come on. Oh. Oh, oh, uh, did he get off? Yeah, I kept my fly. I thought my fly came off there for a second. 
There's one. Oh, stepped on a rock trying to back up. Oh, he's all over me. What do we got? Looks like a little rainbow. Also took the upper fly. I'm liking that green yarn fly now. Oh, come here. Nope, all tangled up in me. Pretty, pretty little rainbow. I'll let you go back and tell your big brothers to come out and play. Oh, come on. They hang out right at the head, there it is, right at the head of the pool where the drop-off is. So I try to drift it down the drop-off and then lower my rod and let it current take it right down. I think that's a big white fish. Oh, that's a, yeah, that's a red, white fish. I always see the red cheeks and think rainbow. me to get a tangle when I spaz out like that. Oh, there was a fish. Oh yeah, oh that's a, something, something with weight. Thought it was on the bottom because it kind of, kind of bounced back. Got this ice shelf behind me. Ooh, it's a big fish. I don't know what it is yet though. Feels like a healthy one anyway, it's not a monster. Come on. You can just see a lot of white as it's rolling around there. That's a brownie. Oh yeah. That's a good fish. That's a nice nice fish. <laughs> There we go. White fish. Yeah, there had to be something by that rock. Uh, keep my rod pointing upstream to get him up there. He's drifting down on me. There he is. Another healthy white fish. There he came off. There's another. What do we got? Probably another white fish. Huh, no, that's a trout. A rainbow, I think. There you go, there he is. Can't see my line. Come on. Oh, it's a brownie. It's a nice trout. Oh, come on. There we go. Okay, well the wind's picking up, but I'm going to give it a shot with my uh, new Sawanabori 72 24 foot rod. I'm going to do something different. I'm going to use a, a Keru line and you can see I've got yarn markers on it because the principle is using very, very thin line that you can't see and getting a good drift and all that. But with this wind, all bets are off anyways, but we'll see. You've got a long handle obviously and you've got non-skid up here for the second hand. So just two-handed casting when it's not so windy is quite easy. This is going to be a bit of a circus but I'm stubborn. Well it should be quite entertaining if I do hook one to see how I'm going to land it with this. Well, this is not going to be a good test for this new rod. 
Come on, fish. I need to christen my rod. There we go. Ooh, look at the size of that thing. <laughs> I was just trying to figure out that how to hold my rod so it uh, could keep the line markers, yarn markers uh, vertical. I don't know if that's a big white fish or a big trout, but it's big. Oh, it took the bottom fly. Oh, this glare, it's gonna be bad. Getting it upstream of me. I gotta see what this is. Oh, whoa, 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 it's a trout. <laughs> it's a rainbow. Did a circle all the way around me. Get my net ready. Oh, well, that's not too bad. That's a nice little rainbow. That's a pretty rainbow. First fish on my new rod. Cute. That makes me feel better. Well, I'm all done fishing for the day. It wasn't very good, obviously, with the long rod. I was look, looking forward to it, but it just got too windy. So I'm gonna head back, got a couple miles to go. But uh, I think overall it was very successful. I really like both of the rods, especially the Gamakatsu. It was, it's uh, gonna be a good rod. Gonna use it a lot, especially with the big fish, but it cast well. Hope you enjoyed the, the catches and uh, thanks for coming along.